In this section, we will learn about nerve surface modeling tools. So, in this video, we will start from loft. Loft tool first requirement is it needs two or more curves. So, first we create a curve. I switch to top view port and create a CV or EP curve. Then go to perspective view port again. Now I need to make a duplicate copy. So select move tool by pressing W key. Then press shift and move in up direction. And another method to create a duplicate copy is control T. First I open outliner. So when I press control T, it's created a duplicate copy of this curve. And then I shift to little bit upside if you want to make some changes in any curve you can change i select this and change little bit curve picture like this now select these curves in a order so first press shift key and then select one by one or you can start from top to bottom also. So lock to start from first to then go to next selection. If selection is bottom one, so lock to start from this curve and then go to next selection level and next selection level. So you need to so you need to select all these curves in a order. Then go to surface lock setting button. First, reset these settings. So, first parameter is uniform, and there is a checkbox auto reverse. We will discuss about this. Make sure section span is 1 and apply. If surface so a dark color in front of the screen, so select this surface and then go to surface and choose reverse direction so it will fix or you can also change the selection order if section span value is 1 so it's divided by this one section if you increase this section span value it will create some more span section lines here we try this first I close this and undo this time we start selection from bottom to top like this then go to surface lock this time i increase section span value to 3 and then apply so surface divided by more section spans i cancel this and undo now now i select this curve and then go to curve and change the direction of start or end point and then we apply loft tool on this curve by unchecking this auto reverse so it's created unpredictable surface like this so make sure all the start point or end point of the curve should be in the same direction or you can also choose auto reverse so it will fix these problems automatically like this i close this window and then delete this surface now i reverse this curve direction again so make sure the start point say start point and in the other curve it's also start point you can check it says start and the second important thing is spine numbers if you select any curve and then go to attribute editor and then check spine number if the spine numbers of this curve are same so geometry will create very 
clear all dividing lines will be parallel if the span value is different different in these curves so lines will not parallel so let check i select this curve and change the span value by using rebuild tool i change you can increase or decrease the span numbers and apply so oh it's created duplicate copy first i will undo and then go to curve rebuild and uncheck keep original and then apply now select one by one all these curves and then apply loft tool first reset all these settings and then apply so the dividing lines are not parallel these are some created different type curvature shapes if you want to make any changes in the surface you can also create because these curves are still attached with this surface by history so first select any curve and then choose control vertex select this control vertex and if you want to make any change so you can easily make like this once you delete this history so now these curves are not attach with this surface if you make any changes that that changes will not reflect so by using history you can make change if there is no history you can't make any changes let's take a, another example first i delete all these curves and surfaces this time i create a circle now make some different different copies with some different different radius so i press control d and shift scale then make a duplicate again by using move tool i change position and then scale now select this one make a duplicate copy and shift in front of last creating curve and select this one control d and so i arrange like this then press shift and select one by one in a order then apply lock to reset settings and then lock if the surface is like this so go to surface and reverse direction so this will fix surface will fit problem now select any circle that you want to shift or scale so by using this type shape you can create different different type of shapes like this so you can make any type of shape i hope you learned how to use loft tool 